In our new series, Swing Thoughts, we've been hearing from leading players and coaches about the keys which have helped them or their pupils perform under tournament pressure. Today, the first woman in the modern era to qualify for a PGA Tour event, now a respected coach and secretary of the PGA of America, Susie Whaley. I've gone through some situations that were certainly out of my comfort zone, and I always explain to the, those that I coach and teach that it's, it's really not different. Uh, whether you're playing against, when I played in the GHL, which is a PGA Tour event, I certainly felt the same as they did in their first nine-hole club championship. I mean, those nerves are nerves. Uh, they're not different just because of the venue. Uh, however, what I did, which was extremely helpful, was I worked with a gentleman named Dr. Richard Koop. And he shared some incredible insights and tips with me that I really um, took to heart. And I had played on tour and not really used these things as well as I did in this particular event. So one of them was really diving into my pre-shot routine, really making sure that I felt confident and um, that it was the best it could possibly be. Because I knew that day I wouldn't screw that up. <laughs> you know, I knew that if I timed it and it was the same time, and it sounds really technical, but it's not. So for me, it was about making sure it was 23 seconds. So from the time that I put my tee in the ground, it was I'd walk behind my ball, I walked in five steps, I took a deep cleansing breath, my practice swing, look once, look twice, hit. That's not a lot of technical detail, um, but I did it every single time and I found comfort in that. I found comfort in knowing that, well, I know I can do that well. For me, that was really relaxing in an environment where I was absolutely not relaxed <laughs> and very uncomfortable. And then the second thing is typically whether you're a high level golf professional, brand new golfer or an amateur that just loves competition, you go faster when you get in trouble. So for example, if you've hit it out of bounds or if you hit it in a lateral water hazard, you walk faster to get there, you want to get the ball out, you want to hurry up and get the next shot over and be done. And in fact, you have to take a breath and step back and make sure that you're walking a little bit slower, that you're taking in your surroundings, that you're understanding the consequences of where you drop, uh, that you take your time taking your club out of your bag. And certainly I'm not advocating slow play. but the natural human instinct to go fast and get the heck out of Dodge <laughs> so that you can get off the hole and to the next will usually interrupt and, and give you another shot penalty or make another error or a three putt. And so that will eliminate some of those errors if you just realize, okay, I've, I've gotten in trouble, but I don't need to get there quickly. I can just, same pace, same time, same temperament. It's just a shot. That's all it was, was a bad shot. Nothing more, nothing less.